Well. Carefree. Staff of life. Necessary. Absolutely necessary. Awesome. Good. Delicious. <laughs> Beer in one word is community. In the early 90s, people were becoming very interested in having more flavor in the beer offerings. Really floral and aromatic. Coffee or a chocolate or a... Tartness, like sometimes when you bite into a pickle. <laughs> you fast forward 20 years, and craft beer has grown from two breweries in the Tampa Bay area into 46 local breweries. The craft beer scene in Florida was born. And the bars started to catch on. Then the restaurants, now we're seeing gas stations, grocery stores, all sorts of places are starting to realize that people want better beer. I think there was a genuine want for quality here and people got excited about it. Making all of us brewers realize we can do this. We can make what the people are asking for. People are changing their drinking habits. They're not chasing the buzz, they're chasing the flavor. I really am into Belgian. A little bit of sweetness. Something nice and dank and juicy. We got a little cherry in there. White oak blueberry. That's not a fair question. <laughs> They're all good. We have German chocolate cupcake, a Wahilo chili, porchata, the Captain Jack stone crab stout, Cubano espresso. We won best of show for our prickly pears. That's not like a normal thing that people do. Here in Tampa, we are producing some of the greatest beer in the world. Tap panels are just filled with just great local beers. That's why we're here. <laughs> They've always got great beer. That's why I'm here. <laughs> we view Tampa as the Southeast beer destination. What draws us to Tampa? We have great weather all year round. The beer. <laughs> we have 46 local breweries to hit. You can throw a rock and hit three breweries in Tampa and they're producing great beer. <laughs> it's just a great place to be. I live in paradise, make beer. It's the best job ever.